Hi, I'm Dave Newton. In this video, we're going to be looking at the EOS R and how it works for portrait shooting. Portraits are quite possibly one of the strongest suits of the EOS R. When shooting portraits, more often than not, you want to make sure that the eyes are in focus. And the AF system of the EOS R has been designed to do exactly this. We've got face tracking AF, so when the camera detects a face in the frame, it'll place a box around it. But more than that, we've got the ability to turn on eye tracking AF. So within the box around the face, if the camera can detect two eyes, it will then put a smaller box around the eye nearest the camera. This is exactly where the camera will focus. This is like the 50mm 1.2 or the RF 85mm 1.2. Obviously, you can be working with very shallow depth of field. So to know that your AF can be absolutely spot on the eye every time is really comforting. It even works in AI servo mode. So if you've got a subject, a person that's walking towards you or walking across the frame, you can be sure that you're going to get focus on their eye every single time. Another aspect of the EOS R that's great for portraits is the EVF or electronic viewfinder. Particularly if you're working in a studio with the ambient light dimmed, here the viewfinder of the EOS R can get brighter so that you can actually see to frame and focus accurately. Finally, there's the Canon Speedlight flash system. Fortunately, the EOS R and the RP work in exactly the same way as every other EOS camera that I've used. If portraits are your thing, then I would recommend having a look at the EOS R and trying out the RF 51.2 and the RF 85 1.2. However, be warned, to try those lenses is definitely to want them.